here is a model I created in Blender so you have an idea of what we're aiming for. I started off this coffee table by building the top since that was going to be the most complicated part. The first thing I did was dimension all the different pieces to their correct size. The center of the table is going to have a marble tile inlay. Because the top was designed to have the center board the exact width of the tile, I can route around the section where the tile will sit before gluing on the edges to make this easier. I finished off by chiseling back to my line to give me the final edge. Now I can glue on the edge pieces. While that was drying, I began working on the pieces that would get attached onto the ends of the table. Because this type of joint wouldn't be strong with only glue, I used dowels to ensure it wouldn't break. Unfortunately, I lost the video footage of assembling the walnut squares onto the cherry, but it was just an end-to-end -end joint using dowels. Then these pieces got glued onto the end of the tabletop. I don't typically stain my wood, but the customer for this table wanted very specific colors, so staining was the only option.
With the top done, I began dimensioning the lumber for the table legs. I then glued them up and sanded them till they were uniform. With that done, I cut an angle on the top and bottom of the legs so they wouldn't just stand vertically, followed by a taper on the sides of the legs. I used a hand plane to smooth out the marks left behind by the table saw so that I wouldn't have to sand as much later. Here I'm cutting out a small pattern in the bottom of the legs. The pattern of faces were then sanded, followed by a coat of red stain to match the tabletop. The next step will be making the rails that will go around the top to add more strength and stability. Once I cut all the angles on the rail to match the rest of the table, I used dowels to attach them to the legs. Later on, these will also be staying the same color as the legs.
Now I'm working on the final section of the coffee table, which is the shelf. I didn't quite have a board wide enough to accommodate what I needed, so I cut and glued a small 2 inch section onto my original board. While the color didn't quite match, once you stain it, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all. With all the sections of the coffee table built, it's time to start the assembly. First off, I cut some support pieces that I'll be using to attach the shelf to the table legs. Here I'm drilling the holes for the dowels that I'll use to attach the top to the rest of the table. Once that was securely glued on, I applied the first coat of varnish, followed by light sanding with 320 grit. These last two steps were repeated until I had a durable finish that I was happy with. Last but not least, I insert the tile into the center of the table, and it's done. Here's how the table looks. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. Thanks for watching.